there guys, gals, and non-binary pals, Jam Potter here. Welcome to my channel where I review books and bookish things. I upload on Thursdays and alternating Tuesdays. But this month, the month of October, we are doing the 13 spooky books of October. So in addition to my regular upload days, I've got some more sprinkled throughout. Uh, if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. So let's get into today's book, which is Mother Thing by Ainsley Hogarth. This book... Well, let's get into it. Mother Thing came out in 2022. Um, it has a 3.72 on Goodreads, and I would give it a solid three stars. It, it is what it is. Um, that being said, before I get into anything, um, Regarding the book, a massive trigger warning for uh, self-harm, um, self-unaliving, death, dying, grief, um, abuse, abusive relationships. Um, yeah, yeah. Massive, massive trigger warning. If this is not not something that you can handle or not something that you you want to deal with, um, I understand. Feel free to click away. I have other books that I'm reviewing for October and other books on my channel that are non-triggery. So no hard feelings. Um, I'd rather you be safe, mentally sound um, than us get into that. So let's, let's get into this one. So in this book, um, our main character, Abby, is married to Ralph um, and he has an abusive mother who they move in with because she's having ideations and doing the self-harm. And Laura, Ralph's mother, uh, unalives herself one night. And they go to the hospital and it, it explores grief. Um, grief takes different forms when Ralph's mother unalives herself. Um, he's haunted by her... Um, He's, he descends into a deep depression. He's always one step away from, maybe a half step away from a complete and total nervous breakdown. He is not doing, not doing okay. Um, and Abby is literally haunted by her. Or is she? Is it in her head? Is the ghost actually there? Like, what's going on? Uh, this book is very dark. Uh, and very surreal. Uh, we have an unreliable narrator in Abby. It's told first person. You're very much in her head. And sometimes it's a regular dialogue stream. Like, blah, 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 said Joe. Blah, 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 said Susie. Like that. And sometimes it's written in stage direction. And some of the things are actually said. And some of the things that are attributed to being said are clearly not said. And it's just... You never fully know what's going on 100% of the time with 100% certainty. She is also an unsympathetic narrator. She is not a nice person. She is not a good person. And I don't think she's supposed to be. Um, she's got her own issues. She's got serious abandonment issues. Um, what she calls the mother thing. Um, she longs to be a mother and to be there for a child like she never had someone and it's just it, it, it gets into creepy territory um, it's stomach turning uh, some people described it as stomach turning and charming I failed to see the charm I just got the stomach turning um, the book starts off already with the train off the rails and just keeps it leans into the skit and gets weirder and weirder and weirder and weirder and weirder. I almost didn't fi finish this one because it's just bizarre. Um, it kind of feels like Chuck Palahniuk, who wrote, among other things, Fight Club and Choke, uh, meets Clive Barker, who did Hellraiser. Well, the Hellbound Heart is the book, but he also did the screenplay for Hellraiser. So it's it's like that. It's yeah, it's it's like Chuck Palahniuk and Clive Barker meets H.R. Geiger. It's just weird and creepy and gross, and I I can't 
fault it too much because it is stylistic and it's very much a choice and the choice is well executed from a technical standpoint so I can't give it less than three stars but I did not enjoy this one I will not be reading rereading this one I will be selling this to my local used bookstore this one will not be making it into the collection so have you read mother thing um what did you think of it chicken a la king anyone um if you know you know uh, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!